Hello all, welcome to the SOLIDWORKS tutorials. In this video, I am going to show you the reverse engineering of piston using SOLIDWORKS. So first, draw a rough diagram in a paper. Then using vernier caliper, I am going to measure the dimensions. So from the bottom to the piston ring gap, the height is 49.80. Then the gap for the piston ring is 2.80 mm. The next height is measured as 3 mm. The second gap for the piston ring is again the same 2.80 mm. Next I have placed the vernier caliper from the gap to the top and it is measured as 5.70 mm. Then the overall height of the piston is measured as 70.30 mm. So mark all the measured dimensions in a rough sheet. Then the diameter of the piston is measured as 57.20 mm. Then the thickness of the piston is measured as 3 mm. There is a rectangular gap in the piston. So the height of the gap from the bottom is measured as 5.50 mm. Then the total height of the gap is measured as 13.30 mm. Then the width of the hole is measured as 27.30 mm. There is a hole at the center and its diameter is 15 mm. Then the distance between the bottom of the hole and the bottom of the piston is measured as 21 mm. But to draw the circle, we need the center point. So I'm going to add the radius of the hole with the distance 21 mm. So it is 21 plus 7.5 that is equal to 28.5 mm. So the distance between the base and the hole center is measured as 28.5 mm. Then there is a circular extrude at the inside of the piston head and its diameter is measured as 11.10 in radius which means 22.20 in diameter. Next the length of the extrude is measured. The length of the extrude is measured as 17.60 mm. So from the center the total radius is 28.60 and the extrude length is 17.60. So there is a gap for a length of 11 mm. So from the center to the extrude end, the gap is 11 mm. Now I have marked all the dimensions in the drawing. Now we will go to the SOLIDWORKS. Open SOLIDWORKS, click new and create a new part. So select the front plane, click sketch. First I am going to draw the outline of the piston then I am going to revolve it. So click line and draw the outline of the piston. Draw a center line for the center. And draw a perpendicular line for the center line. Select three point arc. And select the three points. Now click control, click this arc and the line and make it as tangent. Now mark all the dimensions. So from the bottom to the top edge, it is 70.30 mm. This distance is measured as 5.7 mm. The gap height is 2.80 mm. Then this width is measured as 3 mm. The next gap is measured as 
Ja mam. Then from the bottom to this edge, the height is 49.80 mm. So click control, select the center point and the end point and make it as horizontal. The depth of this gap is given as 2.5 mm. Then the radius is 57.20 divided by 2. So now we click all the lines and make it as vertical and collinear. Similarly select these two lines and make it as collinear. Now the drawing is fully defined. Now I am going to offset this line go to offset entities and the offset distance is 3 mm because the thickness of the piston is 3 mm. So select the profile and click OK. Now go to line and close this region. Now go to features, revolve boss and click the center point then click OK. Now we have created the outline of the piston. Next I am going to cut the rectangular hole here. Select any one of the perpendicular plane and draw a rectangle. So here I have selected a center point rectangle and the dimensions of the rectangle is the width is 27.30 mm the height is 13.30 mm and the gap is 5.50 mm click control Click the center point and the origin point and make it as vertical. Now it is fully defined. Now go to features, extrude cut and select mid plane then click and drag to cut. Now we have created the cut section. Next I am going to create the extrude at the center. Select the same plane, click sketch, draw a circle and the extruded circle radius is given as 11.10 so the diameter is 22.2 and the height of the circle from the bottom is 28.50. Select control, click the two points and make it as vertical. Then go to features, click extrude boss and select up to surface and select this region. And in the direction 2 also select up to surface and select this region. Now click OK. Now I have created the extrude inside. Next I am going to create the hole. So select the same plane, click sketch draw a circle and the radius the diameter is measured as 15 mm the height from the bottom is 28.5 mm select control select these two points and make it as vertical now go to features extrude cut and select mid plane then click OK. Now I have created the hole inside. Okay, So I have drawn the profile, I have created the rectangular hole and a circular hole at the center. So finally I am going to remove this material here. So select the same plane, 
click sketch draw any profile maybe rectangular profile or a circular profile then go to features and click extrude cut then select midpoint and the gap is 11 mm so as we are extruding it on the both side then we have to multiply 2 with that then click ok now I have removed the material inside so I have modeled the piston thank you